Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. It's about uh, 5.35 in the morning right now. Finally heading up to the tent. First time since the winter trip. I uh, went up at the farmhouse last night, up in Cloquet by Duluth. They had quite a snowstorm. Uh, the power went out for Melissa at around 8 o'clock last night, and it's still out this morning. So she's been running on generator. So we're going to stop there first, and eventually we're going to make it up to the tent. this road at all. on the road, headed for the tent. About an hour and a half away from the tent right now. A lot less snow here. It's really windy though. Well, this weekend now, today is Thursday. My dad is coming up to the Backwoods cabin or the folks' cabin tomorrow. My mom is not coming up. Uh, Melissa, she's gonna come up here, I don't think, maybe tomorrow night after work, but probably Saturday morning. Uh, and that's about it. So, that'll be my dad's first time up to the cabin since the second weekend of deer hunting last year before his surgery. And he's really excited to get back up here. We're off the tar. Let's see how this goes. There she is, she's still standing. I see the fan has been knocked off the wood stove. I wonder if it got super windy out or what. That's kind of strange unless a critter got in here, but I don't know how. Otherwise, everything looks pretty much how I left it. I don't see anything yet that's out of place. You guys can't see it, but one of my lanterns, my little lanterns that was sitting up on the uh, dresser has been dropped off to maybe a squirrel or something got in here. I'm not sure.
usually that lamp sits just to the left of that picture. Just like over on this side, I've got one sitting to the right of the picture. I want to see if I can see any critters on this or what. Just to, it's just strange to see a few things out of place. Okay, so I'm looking at one of my inside cameras here, and this was on March 31st. And if you look at this picture, let's see. I left on the 4th of February. I'm walking out the door right there to cross the lake. And here, that fan is right there. Now it's gone and there's something over there. And now it's gone. So some critter got in here and here I am today. So, I wonder where they got in. <laughs> right there you can see whatever it is. It's probably a pine martin. Yeah, and yeah, I see when I left, the fan is right there. It takes a picture, it's still right there, and then it's gone. <laughs> I can see where it got in, too. I had some stuff stuffed into that hole. And then I have the grate over it on this side, but they can easily get behind the grate to get in there. That was to keep, well, I thought it was to keep bigger stuff out, but you can see where the tent is kind of pushed in behind that, and that's definitely where they got in. So I'll just have to patch that hole up again, because now I'll have to worry about mosquitoes. As soon as things start to warm up up here. It's up to 67.5 at about head level. I'll have to reset the clock. That's not right. 40.5 outside. It was just raining pretty hard. Now it is sunny out. And it's four minutes after three. The oil is starting to thaw out, although it was not nearly as white as it is when I come here on the winter trip, but it, uh, it's halfway thawed out now. I turned down the upper fan to blow some of that warm air down here. It's still pretty cold back in the bedroom. I'm going to go down and grab the uh, camera that's on the down the driveway a little ways. I don't think I've looked at that one since deer hunting. I'm not real sure, but anyway, I think I want to run over and take a look at the folks' cabin too, since my dad's coming up tomorrow, and just make sure nothing's happened over there since uh, the winter trip.
It looks like this is a favorite place for the red squirrels to eat pine cones. With my dad coming up here tomorrow, you have to, I was thinking about it on my ride up here, how it must have been for him. You know, usually he'll stay all three weekends of deer hunting and he left after the second weekend, but uh, that was less than like about two weeks away from when he went in for his surgery and all the stuff that must have been going through his mind at that time. Uh, and then how badly he wanted to make it back up here. It's just really cool. He's going to be up here tomorrow. Well, I got the wood stove going and his little wood bin all filled up. I'm going to keep that going tonight and then it'll warm it up in here and then tomorrow morning I'll come over early and fire it up again. So when he gets here it should be really comfortable. Everything should have heated up all the wood and the walls and the stone and everything. So it should be comfortable. Oh, that sun feels nice and warm on my face. All right, I'm going to head back to the tent. I'll see you guys over there. It's warming up. charcoal I had up here but I was getting low I guess I do have three and three quarter bags and now I got one more well I brought up way too much food but with Melissa coming up here and this is the first run up so in the spring so usually you got some looks like I halfway demolished that loaf of bread I brought a couple of things of coffee I don't drink it but Melissa does and then I found out that I have a whole bunch of coffee up here already. That's exactly how it always works up here. Let's see. Lots of cookies. Some canned vegetables. brought up some potatoes of course. I brought up a couple of cucumbers and some Italian dressing. Melissa likes to just 
chop this up, put it in a bowl, and put Italian dressing on it. She really likes that, so I got that. Broccoli and cauliflower and asparagus. I don't know if we'll use that or not, but I think I'm going to put this out in the cooler because I keep the refrigerator kind of cold because I have beer in there and stuff. So Strawberries, onions, macaroni and cheese. And once I got up here, I see I already have macaroni and cheese up here. But and some cookie mix. I'll put that over here for now. So in here, oh, I wonder how that thing survived. I got a half dozen eggs, some sour cream, some worms for fishing. I got my thing of hamburgers like I always get, just in case. that stuff in and then this refrigerator type stuff I'll leave out here. I brought up some milk. I've got the eggs. Got the uh, hamburgers. I brought up some chuck steaks some pork steaks and they had this sale going on on these New York pork chops boneless but they're ribs so I don't know what that means but they're just look like small spare ribs I figure if I don't eat those up here which we're not gonna eat all that I will uh, just bring it back home I think I'm going to run over to the folks' place and put some more wood in that stove. Looks like we're at about 59 degrees in here. That ought to be enough to burn for a couple of hours and then we'll come on back and fill it up again.
I think this little rain band will blow through and I'll fire up the barbecue. up one of these chuck steaks for tonight which I won't be able to eat it all but I'll have another one for lunch tomorrow. I might even have enough for supper tomorrow night. If Melissa were to come up tomorrow I would cook some. I might, I might do some of those ribs tomorrow anyway since I've got so many tomorrow night. But if Melissa comes up we're definitely going to do pork steaks. Probably. I'm not sure if I'm going to do them on the grill or on the campfire. We'll see what the day is like. I'll probably end up cooking those for lunch. I had to open up a new thing of tin foil. I've got four more left. <laughs> I think it's time to get these thrown on the barbecue. I have so much to write this time, I almost uh, dreaded starting the journal. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, deer hunting when I was up here, I talked about uh, my dad pre-surgery. Uh, and when I was here the winter trip, at least when I was up here then, I got to talk about what happened, because that was in the beginning of February. And uh, now I have a little bit to write about, you know, him coming up here after all this time and how that's what he wanted to do but this weekend and uh, nobody knows this at all none of my kids know nobody my mom dad I have told zero uh, I'm gonna ask Melissa to marry me so um, I have not slept good this week uh, at all um, I made this jewelry box for her because hers was broken and then I think that what was left of it got lost in the flood and uh, so I made a jewelry box and some of the wood that came from it um, come from the house in Louisiana like there was a uh, plum tree in the front yard that died or we cut down or something and and I brought that back and I uh, cut little boards out of it had to let them dry and that's like the top and then it, it was the most complicated little project I've ever done the, the, the stuff on the sides and the front and back are wood that's from here, kind of for me signifying down there, up here. And then the little bottom thing, uh, when the house flooded and we tore all the boards out, there were some of the cypress boards and, uh, and that I wrapped around the bottom. So uh, now I, I just waited and I bought the wedding ring, or the engagement ring anyway, and that's in the jewelry box right now. So when she gets up here uh, sometime this weekend, I'm gonna ask her to marry me. I mean, we've been together for, what, seven years now, or 
going on eight, I suppose, this October. Something like that. I mean, knowing each other. And, uh, and then she moved up here almost exactly one year ago because she would have come up here. We would have pulled the fifth wheel up like last week and she came up here for opening fishing. So the first time I met her, she flew in from Louisiana. We went from the airport, spent four days at the tent. And then, uh, then when she came up here to live, we came up here and then we came up to the tent. So I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I figured that the tent would be the place to ask her because that's, you know, kind of had a, a, quite a few firsts here. So anyway, um, I'll have to write about all that. So anyway, it's been a, a kind of a uh, nerve wracking week for me because, you know, you just, you know, yeah, and you never know what's going to happen. So anyway, lots of stuff to write about in the journal. Looks pretty delicious. I need to can some more butter. I have no canned butter up here, so I had to bring up regular butter. I need to get on that. So I'll actually show you this. I did do a video on this box. I don't know if it was on Joe and Zach Survival or if it was on the Northern Seclusion channel. I think it was on Joe and Zach. Anyway, I built this box, which is all from reclaimed lumber from the Louisiana house after it flooded. And I made this box to hold this box. And this, I, you know, I've done a lot of projects, but this was very complicated for me to do. So this part here was made out of a, a plum tree that was in the front yard of the Louisiana house. And down here, this is cypress that came out of the wall after the flood. And this part right here this was the hardest part and I actually have a video that I did on this I, I never uploaded it I have it in a folder from two years ago I think and uh, to make this be a, a whatever you want to call that fan type deal like this with these little pieces was very hard and then not only that fact but then dovetail it like this and on the side these come up and then these go up and follow it also. So this was, uh, I don't have a lot of patience. <laughs> and this took a lot of patience to do that. But I really like it. The back just fans up like this. So then when I give her this as this jewelry box that she no longer had that I made for her, when she opens it up, I have a wedding ring in there. And this part here now is made out of cypress. And these two pieces here are the aromatic cedar. 
and then I, of course, had to get the stuff to put in there. But another really super cool thing about this, and if you knew Melissa and I's personality, I think she's going to like this. When you pull this out, that is a real 22 Magnum little revolver. It's just tiny. <laughs> and this, which was even super hard to do, is a also made out of Cypress, and it's just a little box that has 22 Magnums in there. <laughs> it's just kind of cute. Well, it's almost completely dark out, so I think I'm going to run over to the folks' cabin one more time and load up that wood stove. I imagine it's probably, you know, it was almost 60 in there, so I think by morning it'll be about 50 and uh, that'll be a lot less to warm up. I think it's supposed to get down into the 20s tonight, so my dad will probably be up here sometime between 10 and noon, and I want it to be nice and warm in there when he gets here. I'm just messaging back and forth with Melissa because the power was out for 22 hours but when she got home the power was on and uh, then she had to turn the furnace back on and just make sure everything was working shut off the generator plug the sump pump in different and everything and she's just telling me how it's how it's working out Okay, everyone. Well, it's about 20 minutes after 10, and I'm just about to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. It's about a quarter after six right now. I've been up since 4.30 watching the sunrise. Just a beautiful, quiet morning. I'm gonna run over to the folks' cabin. I'm sure that stove put some more wood in that stove. I'm sure there's still coals in there. I went and filled up the stove over there. It's still 63 degrees inside the cabin. This morning when I got up it was 31.9 and now it's 33.6 out here. I just called and talked to my mom. Right now it's 7.49 in the morning. My dad left at 6.30 this morning to drive up here. He did think that he would stop off about halfway up 
at a rest stop and maybe you know just rest for a little bit. So he and then he had this. He was going to stop and get breakfast, but my mom didn't know if he was just going to do a drive-through or a sit-down. So he should be up here between 10:30 and noon. My mom thinks it's going to be around 11. Uh, we're just keeping tabs because he had to leave there and get up here, and this is the longest drive he's had since surgery. So, but she said he was really excited. come over here and check this stove one more time. My dad should be here in probably about an hour. Looks like we're about 72 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's just about perfect. Trying to get some spring cleaning done here. That wasn't too bad in there. Just some pine needles on the floor. I just talked to Melissa for about 45 minutes on the phone and during that time my dad called and uh, that was a while ago. He had about an hour left before he got up here and that should put him here in about 15 or 20 minutes. He said that uh, the, he was worried about the ride, especially going down the hill into Duluth because that causes kind of like pressure in your head when you're going down and he said he had no problem so he seemed really upbeat and <laughs> pretty happy to be this close. My dad that just called, he just made it over to the cabin, and uh, I'm going to go over there. It's 5 to 12 now, I'm going to go over there about 2 o'clock and help him put the two pieces of gutter up and bring those three pieces of uh, furniture stuff that he built in the workshop, I'm going to help him bring them inside. So, yep, yeah, so he's made it up here, and uh, that's great. I can't believe I didn't do two baked potatoes last night. I always do two baked potatoes and I guess I uh, blew that off. Lunch time.
wasn't bad. Six months of not running, sitting out in the winter. Second pull, it fired off. That's about 10 minutes to two, so I'm gonna run over to the folks' cabin and give my dad a hand. pretty good. I suppose it was all about making the hanger for it, you know? in there, is there? No. Just in that hole right there? Okay.
my dad was just over here and uh, I'm just picking stuff up in the yard. If you guys remember, right before deer hunting was it, or I don't think it was during deer hunting anyway, we cut down all those trees and I never had a chance to pick up all the brush and everything before the snow started falling. potatoes and onions there and I'm going to put in this is some of my dehydrated stinging nettle very good for you you won't even be able to taste it in here put just a little bit of olive oil on here
Does anybody see anything wrong with that? All natural New York chops, boneless. That looks like ribs to me. Maybe that's why they were on sale. They had a whole bin of them there. I bought three of them. Okay, everyone, it's dinner time. Okay, everyone, well, it is right now, let me look, 10.25, and I'm going to go to bed. I've been working on that journal for the last two hours. I could not get everything done. <laughs> Uh, with my dad coming up, Melissa coming up tomorrow, I just uh, couldn't get it all finished, but I have to go to bed. I have to wake up tomorrow morning, I have to take a shower because she's coming up, do a little cleaning in here. She has everything packed up, and uh, hopefully she'll get up here fairly early. I will see you guys in the morning.
Good morning, everybody. It's cloudy right now. It's supposed to be cloudy. More clouds than sun most of the day, and then clearing, I think, late this afternoon. Chance of some rain showers off and on. You can hear the geese out there. I just put my shower water on. Melissa's coming up, so I need to get in the shower and get cleaned up. There's some guys camped straight across from the camera right now on that far side of the lake. And uh, they actually watch the channel. They came over here yesterday. We chatted for a while, showed them the tent. I went over there and my dad showed them the backwoods cabin. And they were real nice guys. Put the battery charger on the shower battery. It should be pretty good, but I always like to put it on the first time off after winter. Well, that was quick. It took a minute and it said it was already charged up. There's two geese out there in front of the dock. say about five more minutes and the water should be ready maybe ten got everything cleaned up in here I got a couple of dishes to do that's it and it'll be ready for Melissa to show up Okay, everyone, I'm officially as pretty as I'm going to get. is on her way up here right now she just stopped to get some worms and uh, her fishing license and where she's at right now she's been driving for a while she's about two hours away I was just talking to Melissa on the phone she is exactly one hour away and then she went into the cell phone dead zone <laughs> so I'll see her when she gets up here
I was going to start the campfire and cook the pork steaks for lunch on that, but with that wind picking up here a little bit, it makes it hard to uh, to cook on that when it's coming off the lake. So I'll probably just end up doing it on the, the grill. Figured I better get that in quick because once Melissa gets up here, she's going to make me turn that crap off. <laughs> walking down the driveway here to meet her. Uh, the address here doesn't come up on GPS, just the road. And I don't know that she'll know where to turn off of that road to get back here. It just looks like another logging trail. Come on, girls, let's go. Yep, they're happy. All right, well, they made it up here okay. Got some pork steaks gonna cook up here for lunch. And she brought up a pork loin that I'm going to cook just to get it cooked, and then we can eat that whenever. Oh, those are some nice thick pork steaks. It looks like this pork loin is already seasoned. Have you ever had this kind of uh, pork loin with the Greek seasoning on it? Uh-uh. Nope. Smells good. You sure you don't need any help? No. I mean, do you want asparagus for a vegetable? Or do you want uh, cauliflower and broccoli? Either one. I don't think we can eat that many. Looking good. Did you clean that chopping block? Which one? Cutting board. Did you clean it? What is it called? It's not a loan, it's no. Um Alpha, that's what yeah. it was called. the other two fishing lines of hers so she can choose whatever one um, ready to go but we're gonna wait till the wind dies down before we go out in the boat
Okay everyone, well today was a Joe and Melissa day. We did go out fishing this afternoon. The wind has just been relentless all day long. And we did go out for a while and did some fishing. We didn't even get a bite. There was actually a few boats on the lake and I don't know how they were doing. Um, the people that were, the guys that were camped across there, they caught a half a dozen small northerns and a couple of perch. So the fish just aren't really biting yet. The water's very cold. But I did ask Melissa to marry me today, and she said yes. So I didn't do a whole lot of filming today. It was a Joe and Melissa day. I uh, put that stuff under personal, and I don't like to film much of that. <laughs> so anyway, now tonight we're just sitting there watching a movie on DVD. And tomorrow we do head home. It's not going to be right away in the morning. I'm sure it'll be, we'll stay here for a few hours. But uh, we are both coming back up here on Memorial Weekend. And there'll be another tent video then. What an exciting day. Oh yeah, I heard the story. You arrested some Chinese government guys at the border carriers. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to talk to you about it. And I cannot allow you... Go potty. ...thing I think for everybody. Fair enough. I just... I can't get into your file unless I have your I know. password. You girls want to come back in? I know. Huh? I'm not here for that. Come on. Okay, everyone, well, it's 10.30 at night, and Melissa and I are going to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's an absolutely awesome morning.
Your tea is ready. Oh my gosh. I might have to trade you in on, I mean, uh, trade my other guy in on you. Uh-huh, yeah. You want to take that one back with you? Yeah, because if we stop at, uh... Oh, yeah, if we stop at a restaurant, then you're going to have to... I'll have to roll the windows down. Okay. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. That was a real fun few days up at the tent and very memorable. We'll be back up here for Memorial Weekend, and I think that'll be pretty awesome, too. on the next video.